Welcome to the Gallagher Stadium this afternoon. It's Sean Sker here with you through till 5 o'clock. Accompanying me is Joseph Parkhouse for the first time doing a Gallagher commentary. It's lovely to have our eyes and ears from all around the world listening in. Maidstone United, two consecutive defeats in the Cup and League at this stage. An unbeaten start before that. Conceded five, scored none in those two games. Hakan himself has said that uh, he's analysed those games, just silly mistakes. Boot his left foot's going to whip that in. Ball on the edge of the 18 yard line. Alakobi and Gandalf trying to break free. It comes to the edge of the box where Deacon's going to put his foot through it. And it's just over the crossbar. And good effort. Just got underneath that, you feel, Joseph. But all Maidstone in this first minute. Very much the opposite, although obviously the last couple of games that was didn't really count for much. But certainly not the best fare from Maidstone so far this season in the first half. So if we do get a first half goal from Maidstone, well, I tried to cut away there because it looked like Deacon got fouled by Josh Taylor right down yeah, in front of us. And Deacon's it, holding his ankles. Corn comes away with it. Booty with a loose touch. Now Lab fires it forward. Did Taylor win the ball there? The referee thought so. I think there was contact on the ball, but again, it's the debate of what he got first. And I'm going to be honest, it happened very quickly, so I couldn't quite tell. But it does look like Deacon's caught something in and he's. Uh... And uh, Deacon is back on his feet. And he's hobbling around. Certainly gives their opinion on uh, how they think that decision was come to. and. Why it shouldn't have been. Ben and Williams lets it run towards him. Plays it back over the halfway line to Booty. To Deacon, who's looking better. Gandor with a touch and a chance to run. Alab gets it out into his left foot. And Gandor with a shot. And it's just over the crossbar. The angle of crossbar and post. Uh, Nelson's near post. And Gandor so close. Gallagher on Taylor there. But Hoyt comes free with it. And he's given it to Patterson. Patterson plays it to the back stick. Gandor's got a bit of a chase on. He's got to spin around and get to this. Got Elabd on his shoulder. Manages to turn him. Plays it back to Binham Williams. He leaves it a bit short. He's just managing to get around the outside. Then the inside of Mewitt. He has got some nifty feet on him as Binham Williams. Corner of the box is Deacon. A few lollipops. Gets a shot across with his left foot to the far post. Gandor waiting there. Goal kick given. But I mean, Deacon could have put that one in. Gandor might have been offside if he'd have tucked that one in, but these first 20 minutes are flying by. Ball from Shane out wide. Ball is deflected. Maidstone will come away with it with Gallagher, who gets it out on this near touch line to Deacon. Got the touch through the legs, over the halfway line. He's going to cut back inside at some point. He's got a Gallagher and a Fuller in front of him. Gallagher with a blatant push and a foul is given this time on his numbers sake Gallagher saying a few profanities no doubt not happy with the decision but uh, Taylor's one wasn't given on, on him earlier Fuller in support on this near touch line rolls it in front of Josh Taylor instead to Gallagher Daniel Gallagher Knew it running on the outside, he gets it back to Gallagher. He dinks a soft ball into the edge of the six yard box, the side of it. Come out the 18 yard box again, and Fuller, 30 yards from goal on this near touchline, in field to Josh Taylor. He has support and runner as Hoyt nearly runs through referee Cartmel there. And Hoyt is challenging McManus there for the ball, keeping him at arm's length. McShane plays the ball cross field to Daniel Gallagher. He's got space, he's eyeing up that top corner and he's going to go for it, but it's just swung away. And the angle we've got up here in the gantry, I could see that coming a mile off, that's where he was aiming it for, but fortunately for Maidstone, I think he's coped with worse before, to be frank. Ball dinked to the halfway line. Ella Kobe strong in the challenge there. Gets the ball off McShane. Booty to Gallagher, the Maidstone variety. Deacon and Phil to Booty. Booty's got Gandor running ahead of him. And Gandor gets shot away. Nelson gets a block in. Deacon tries to chest it. Goes past his right arm. Wins the ball back. Anyway, more on the centre spot to Josh Taylor. Bobby Joe plays it back into the defensive half to Elabd. Daniel Gallagher 
square pass, he finds him. And he plays it back to Alap once more, into the centre circle. And as McShane plays the ball out wide to Mewitt. Can he keep it in? Just, he can. Plays it back up the channel to Moore. For Gallagher in support, but instead he goes square to the edge of the box. Gets it back to Moore. Another touch on the edge of the D. And it's Josh Taylor, turns inside. Booty for company. Taylor tries to play it infield, and he does. And it's a simple goal for McShane. 43 minutes in, and Dorking find themselves 1-0 up. Intricately worked by Dorking, patient patient build-up and McShane has put that one past Hadler and out of nowhere out of nowhere it's Maidstone nil Dorking one so Maidstone will kick us back off here with 90 seconds plus stoppages as the ball goes over to the far side Gallagher has possession it's a flat Gallagher now Gallagher in possession as well Booty plays it to Deacon got Corn running through, can he make it 1-1? One, one? He can't because Nelson just about bobbles in his chest and the six yard box and Corn was played in fantastically well there. Maidstone looking for an instant reply. Gavin Hoyt has only got one shoe on. Yes indeed and it's uh, come off in instalments, he's got his insole and I'm not sure where his boot has gone either. Uh, so I think he's uh, picked it up. <laughs> I think it was down by the side. Yeah, he's got the oh, boot. Oh, I thought that hand. was just the insole. There's hardly anything left of it there, to be honest. There uh, you go. There's another bit just down the side. Crikey. Yeah. They're made of paper these days, aren't they? they are not that much older than you, but I'm not wrong. Uh, Deacon receives the ball, gets a back heel to Bidham Williams, and Patterson is blocked, challenged by McManus. And it's gone for a corner, I think. McManus just about got in front of Patterson. Deacon receives the ball on the edge of the six-yard box on the far side. <laughs> By Nelson, instead, Binham Williams in the defensive third. He manages to roll his man. Plays the ball up the channel. El Abd is in front of Gandor. Gandor just about keeps the ball in, leaves El Abd on his backside. Gandor with a chance, he's put it in the side netting at the near post. The goal kick, which he thunders over the halfway line. Gandor is Gallagher all over him. And then his brother has the ball for Maidstone. Deacon spins one, spins a second, gets it to Booty. Back up the channel to Binham Williams. Rolls back and chips it forward. Left for Gallagher, hoiked up. Moore and Corn go in for it. And Gallagher comes away with it for Maidstone. Played over the top to Hoyt, who manages to have control with the header. Oh. And he's volleyed it wide of the near post. Just and Jack Barham who takes his place in the 67th minute. So that's one of the uh, players who's played for both. And uh, Briggs has run himself into the box. And the penalty has been given. I think that might be a free kick actually. Well, I hope it's a free kick because so. Zelikobi has been booked. Yeah, I think there's a couple of knocks on the way through there, but the initial contact actually began outside the box, so it does look like it could be a free kick to Dork in here. Patterson marked out. Gandor's got two on one on him again, and Bobby Joe wins the header. Look, Shane. And it's Wheeler. Gets the better of Hoyt. Played in field. Zelikobi with a simple touch out. Korn's not there. Taylor is space now in the midfield for Maidstone. Briggs comes forward with it. Plays it round the outside. Ball across. Keeley 2-0. Keeley's made it 2-0. And that has been coming. Maidstone United have been on the back foot and Dorking have managed again. Knife through butter. For Maidstone will throw all the attacking options on because we've got nothing else that we can do. Now that we're 2-0 down. Maidstone in possession is Hoyt. Ball's played away by Dorkin. Looking to kill this game off now, and they might well do. Shane tumbles into Elakobi. Corn's looking for something from the referee, and it's not given. Elakobi has already been booked, and he is giving some verbal to the referee. They're hoping... That is not going to be the second yellow for George. He may well talk himself into the book here. He's been very annoyed at the lack of decision given there.
by Cartmel, but it certainly doesn't give Alakobi the right to uh, bad mouth the way in the way that he did there. So hopefully George is apologetic and uh, lets him get on with that one. Oh, the sun's glaring on us as well. I put away the shades at half time and I'm deeply regretting that now, but uh, I'm sure there's a few things that's being regretted. Hadler's going to send this one forward if Keeley lets him, and he does. And Hadler, that's the longest one I've seen from him so far. Pavey can't get around Gallagher. Barham tries to receive it, Korn does, and he sits it down. And it just lands in front of Nelson. A lot of creativity yet again, but not finishing the chances. Can they finish one here from this corner? Brown's header, and that sums up Maidstone's afternoon. About 20 seconds left. Ball hoisted over the back line, but Hoyt heads it on. Ben and Williams beaten to it by Taylor. And the referee is offside. But then, sensibly, the referee decides that full-time whistle is the best thing for everybody to put us out of our misery here this afternoon at the Gallagher Stadium. 